as President Muhammadu Buhari traced Africans' existing challenges in inability to demonstrate production of most basic requirements and provision of jobs to the teeming and dynamic youth population. Crossover State's representative at the just concluded Intra African Trade Conference, Doban Mr. Asukwa Ekbenyo, had called on African leaders to urgently create a pathway for youth to thrive in building their country's economy. The events enable representatives of governments and corporate bodies to take advantage of investment opportunities. Mr. Ekpenyong, who is Cross River State Commissioner for Finance, revealed that the Cross River State's Governor, Saben Ayade, understands the crucial need to ensure total integration of youth in the local economy. Uh, the Governor of Cross River State, has, um, His Excellency Senator Professor Ben Ayade, has uh, understood that most of the challenges we have is uh, the non utilization of the youth factor in our economy. Having understood that one of the greatest challenges facing the economy at the moment stems from the non-utilization of the youth factor in our economy. The governor has taken steps to adopt the simplest ways to utilize their high level of energy through engagement in the agricultural sector. Um, one of the easiest ways to utilize the high levels of energy young people have um, beyond technology is up and uh, as cheaply as possible would be in the agricultural sector. The commissioner opened that there is a preponderance of subsistence farming in Africa today and in Nigeria in particular. It is only right that Governor Ayade choose to develop mechanized farming model to ensure efficient and effective output in the state. What the governor is trying to do is to try and develop mechanized farming, large-scale farming, to ensure that there's efficient and effective uh, output. Uh, the usual barriers to entry uh, mechanized farming is the acquisition of land, large-scale land, land preparation, uh, working capital, and the machinery is required. So what the governor has done was to identify young people that are interested in agriculture and start a capacity building program. The commissioner Position that although preliminary processes have begun and the program framework developed, the commissioner began the talk with the statistics of the youth demographic. He stated that on the continent today, there are approximately 541 million people between the ages of 0 to 15 years, while a further estimated 455 million people are between the ages of 16 to 35 years of age. This, in effect, means that for a continent of approximately 1.4 billion people, people under the age of 35 account for over 70% of the population. This effect means that the key success factor to the trade agreement is youth active participation and inclusion in the trade agreement. Uh, let me start by um giving out some numbers. Um, this, the theme of this is youth inclusion in the trade agreements. Um, the African Union Youth Charter defines the youth between the ages of 15 and 35. On the continent today, there are approximately 1 billion people below the age of 35. That means um, between the ages of 0 and 15 years, you have uh, 541 million people. Between the ages of 15 and 35, you have uh, 455 million people. What that means is that over 70% of, um, of the population of Africa are the youth, or they belong to the youth demographic. So this free trade agreement is about the youth, and the youth must be included. Uh, there must be need for capacity building and development to ensure that they have adequate participation in this trade agreement. He noted that there are several barriers that inhabit entry into mechanized farming, such as the challenges of acquisition of large-scale land, land preparation, acquisition of machinery and equipment, working capital, etc. Uh, the usual barriers to entry in uh, mechanized farming is the acquisition of land, large-scale land, land preparation, uh, working capital and the uh, machinery is required. 
The second intra-African trade fair held in Duban, South Africa, with over 5,000 conference delegates in attendance, 1,100 exhibitors, including over 1,000 buyers from over 55 countries who are engaged to grow trade and investments on the African continent. Interestingly too, President Buhari left memorable lines that under the African Continental Trade Agreement, Nigeria can double her intra-African trade by 2030, reduce her reliance on imports and therefore create more jobs on the continent. Charles John reporting for Sigino TV.